I've got GB time lapse running at the Hangtown Motocross. Uh, the camera is in a laptop computer or in the control tower there. It's been running there for a little last week. I'm going to check on uh, how things are going today. First I'll go to my website and I've got uh, GB time lapse set to upload the latest image every 15 minutes to this website. So you can see here that uh, it's early morning, uh, the sun's coming up, uh, not much going on at the track. I'm going to use log me in to uh, connect to that computer so I can change some of the settings. Here I've got four cameras running mo remotely. This is the one that's at the Hangtown Motocross. And I'll log into that computer. Log me in is a great way to uh, connect to a computer remotely. It's a free service and uh, you can use it to control all the settings of GB time lapse. Okay, here's the screen of that laptop at the Hangtown Motocross. And you can see the project is running. It's set to start every day one hour before sunrise and end every day two hours after sunset. It'll be running today until 10.08 tonight. And it's captured 171 step, uh, images so far. The next image will be captured, well, right now. So it just did that. Um, you can see I've got the time lapse interval set to 30 seconds. I'll probably decrease that later today when there's more activity at the track. If I look at the project settings, in the notify tab, here's where I can set up the FTP options to upload images. I've actually turned that off. I, I'm not going to be uploading images today. That the um, bandwidth of the Wi-Fi connection there is not very good and during the race with all the media uh, I don't want to be bogged down trying to FTP images. So I could change anything about the uh, setup remotely. I don't have to go to the site to change anything on GB time lapse. It's a great way to uh, monitor a remote event. I'll just end this now. And disconnect.